Eliza is gonna hate it. I broke Bob. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? So today we're continuing on with our Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator Let's Play. I have eye drops on my shoulder <laughs> and I just got everything comfy and set up and I don't want to change this sweater. So doggy eye drops. My dog has allergies. It's a whole thing. Anyway, we're continuing on with our household here. My main character Florence is taking a bath and Mark who moved in in the last episode is just chilling on the computer. So what I'm doing in this let's play is Florence our main character is intended to be like really good really passionate about her job but Mark is kind of like a hippie kind of like a free bird really wanted to pursue this career but isn't very good at it so I'm gonna get them both gigs what I do plan on doing in this episode I want to give Mark a makeover and he was kind of just like couch surfing I, I might have him do that for a couple more days but I do want to build him some kind of maybe like a basement apartment or an extra bedroom Mark and Florence are just friends right now it's just you know platonic co-worker friendship relationship. So they're not gonna share a bedroom, but we're gonna go to the Pancakes House. Mark is going to the Pancakes House, so hopefully we can get a reaction. We did a really bad job in the last episode and Penny Pizzazz was like angry for a sec and then not angry at all. <laughs> Mark is gonna go there and Florence is gonna go to the Vitor House, the Vampire House. I'm excited, I'm, I'm ready for this. Beforehand, I think we should give Mark the makeover he deserves. Maybe we'll give Florence like a little makeover as well. And Luna, maybe we can give her like a little sweater or something. But I do want to still roll with that hippie vibe. I don't want to stray away from that. I love, love his hair. So I think I'm probably going to keep the same kind of style. Ooh, we could kind of do like two different hairstyles. There's this one. This is the bun. This one also, both of these are from Grim Cookies. I kind of love it when guys rock that like big feminine bun. Is that just me? I'm going to move this down here just for a sec. But like, I think this looks cool. Oh, this one's cute actually too from Season. And there's a new actual black hair swatch. Okay, let's roll with this one for now. He does have the spacers. I think I'm gonna let him keep those. I'm kind of also thinking nose piercing. For the lashes, I never know. Do you guys put lashes on your sim? I mean, I could maybe go with like these ones. These are, I think, like the male ones. Actually, those look good. Those ones, I have these ones that kind of sit lower. I think I like those. Okay, for the eyebrows, I never know what to do for like male eyebrows in the sims. Like making male sims in general, I find very difficult for me. Maybe we can go with these new ones. The ones he had before weren't even that bad. These ones look a little bit more like natural, I guess though. Should I give our Sims some subtle liner? Okay, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> we need to bring back the emo phase where guys wear eyeliner often. I'm gonna say it. This video is gonna be full of unpopular opinions today, apparently. As I get older, my 2005 emo phase just keeps escalating, okay? It's not going away. It's just getting worse or better. Open to interpretation. That's just too Okay, for our outfit, I don't know how much like male custom content I've got. We're gonna do our best. I really wish the Sims would just add in their own like eyelashes, kind of like the Kajiko ones where you can just add them on or they come with the eyes so that I don't have to go in every single time and add them in myself. Okay, so I finished Mark's makeover here. We've got the everyday look, formal, athletic, sleep, party, <laughs> swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And then I also gave Flo just another little outfit. She's definitely got the dark academia vibe. We are definitely going to be rolling with that for her outfits and for her renovation that we plan on doing. But this is her new everyday outfit. I just kind of added another one. I wanted to keep the other one. I still like it. Let's go back into live mode. I'm, I really want to make over this whole house into a dark academia vibe. So I think I'm going to do that eventually. I'm going to give them one more day of chilling in this house. We're going to go and do their gigs and then we can renovate this into our dark academia dream house. Oh, I forgot to give Luna a little makeover. Okay, we'll do that later. I do feel kind of bad for Mark. I want to get him off the couch. I feel bad. I know that he probably doesn't mind. This was probably his idea anyway, but like, he's just so sweet. I don't know. I have a soft spot for our, our Mark Eggleston here. He's going to wake up and make some breakfast. Let's have some fruit salad. Both of them need their fun up, so maybe they can wake up and watch TV together while they eat their breakfast. And then we are going to the gig. I don't know if I want to follow Mark or if I want to follow Florence today. I kind of want to make the pancakes mad. I think I'm going to follow Mark. We'll try and do like a bad job. So like last time I would just make a house according to the Sims dislikes. I really want to make them angry. Since we're planning on doing like a good renovation on this house, we can do a bad one first. God, <laughs> these dust bunnies. Oh my God, go away. He is literally just coming outside to play in the rain. Like, why are you so perfect? I think they need to come outside and play in the rain together. She's inside just watching.
watching TV. She still needs to have her breakfast, but I think I want them to come outside and play in the rain together. They have a gig in an hour. Florence needs to eat her breakfast, but like, how cute is this? Marcus Flex is over there just like staring at this house creepishly. He's creepy. I've had him in some of my Let's Plays before. I swear he is a little bit of a stalker. All right, back inside. We need to eat before we go to this gig real quick. Oh wait, we need to feed the cat. Okay, Florence is gonna go alone. We are gonna go with Mark. <laughs> Good luck, Florence. Last time she got a promotion, so I'm hoping that she does well. I think we're just doing a room run. Yeah. Budget 3800. Uh, all right, come on in. Bob. <laughs> okay, friendly introduction, I guess. Uh, Mark would definitely do the friendly introduction. Where is Eliza? Over here. I wonder what room we should do. Okay, so we're in the hallway. We are getting to know them. Oh, the two of them. I just can't. They feel tense and angry. Oh, uncomfortable. So we have dislikes Cosmo Lux decor. They like the color green and they like cooking. I want to get one more dislike. We're not going to use green. Uh, we're not going to renovate the kitchen. I'm just going to like keep asking them like, so what do you like? What do you like? What do you like? Okay. We don't like the color red. Again with the color red. I like the color green. I don't like the color red. Okay. This is good. Stop. Google. 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 Stop. I literally just got a full education on the color red. Me and Google don't get along. Anyway, let's go and take our before photos. Do I want to do Eliza's bedroom? Give her like a full red. Wait a minute. Didn't they just say they didn't like Cosmo Lux? I had to go back and check to make sure I wasn't crazy. They literally just said they didn't like Cosmo Lux and now all of a sudden they like it. Unless that was like Bob and Eliza like going back and forth and like one of them likes it, one of them doesn't. I wish I knew which one disliked it. I would do their bedroom in Cosmo Lux. <laughs> I'm gonna check. So Bob is the one that doesn't like Cosmo Lux and he doesn't like modern decor. Eliza just dislikes painting. That makes no sense. And neither of them like Cosmo Lux. I'm so confused. <sighs> this game. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick. We're gonna send them away. I might also take a quick nap while I'm here. How much time do I have for this? I only have until 9 p.m. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick nap in Eliza's comfy looking bed. I mean, my dude's been sleeping on the couch. I feel like he's the kind of Sim too that would like see nothing wrong with this situation. <laughs> quick nap. We're gonna use up all the time that we've got here. Let me see what Cosmo Lux looks like. Oh, Cosmo Lux is like retro. Oh, I love that. I feel like Bob would. Okay, you know what? I'm doing Eliza's room in Cosmo Lux. We're gonna sell everything we got. I feel like this is going to add up our budget because she's got some pricey stuff in here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is add some lighting. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I really like this style. This is going to be so incredibly not Eliza. There is no way we're not gonna get a reaction out of her here. I hope she gets mad at me. Like, come on. <laughs> so Get Famous has a lot of that like Cosmo Lux, like retro style, the bowling pattern and apparently even a little bit of the dream home decorator with those rounded edges. That's very retro, very like kind of retro trend going on right now. So I think this is gonna turn out pretty freaking cool. I haven't done like a retro build in forever. We're going with the old good old fashioned get famous door there. I'm gonna do a double dresser moment. We can do TV right here. Her room was already so dark. So I do not feel bad about the fact that there's barely any lighting in here, but I do want to use the lava lamps. Those are technically Cosma Lux. I'm kind of going for like a red and pink vibe. I feel like she would like the pink. I think that's like her favorite color, but ah, I don't know. Like, I really want this to look cool. Maybe the Cosmo Lux will be enough for them to hate it. <laughs> oh, look at this cute little homemade flower pot I just made with the base game. Actually, these are both from Sims 4 base game. We've got the cool little pot there that I sized down and this snake plant. Oh, I wish I could put my shoes, the clutter in this bowling thing. I think this is actually meant for like the bowling shoes, but they don't even fit in the slot. Nothing fits in that slot. Oh my God. Fine, I'll just do it myself. Okay, wait, look how cool this looks. I want to make like a little walk-in closet moment, but like retro style. I haven't seen anyone do like a retro style, like neon walk-in closet yet. It's all been like the contemporary ones. I want to do this. Hold on. Okay, this is so cool. I definitely got carried away over here, but like, look at this. It's so retro. It's so neon. I love it. Eliza is gonna hate it. We got the TV over here. We've got the couch, a little seating area, a lot of lamps all over over the place and Cosmo Lux explosion essentially. So let's bring them back. <laughs> I'm in my PJs. I should probably change out of that, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> let's go take the after photos. Mark looks like he's excited about the renovation. So what the heck? <laughs> Wait, this 
The house across the street looks like the pancake house, but better. Okay, taking our after photos, like honestly, these are gonna be the best after photos I've done. This is like the best renovation that I've done. Hopefully it's also the worst one that I've done. Oh, he changed back. He did not want Eliza to see him in his pajamas. You know, understandable. He likes the decor, beautiful, beautiful taste. I wonder if he actually likes Cosmo Lux. If so, I would be very down to do like a Dark Academia Cosmo Lux combo for the house right now. Okay, yes, I wanna personally show off this masterpiece. <laughs> okay, here they go. I'm like nervous, I'm scared. Eliza is terrifying. I hope you like it. But look at these pictures. I only took pictures of the chair, so you know. What the, what the, wait a minute. Bob, what? is going on. Why are you floating? <laughs> Bob hated it so much he gained superpowers. Same as Eliza. Oh my God. What are you guys doing? What is happening? Bob is literally walking in a circle. I broke Bob. <laughs> Look at this. I've never seen this glitch. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, check this out. It is glitching so bad right now. I've never seen this. They're just walking on thin air. When Eliza and Bob hate the reno so much, they try to climb out the window. <laughs> Look at this. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. It looks like they are trying to freaking pull an escape. I'm dead. So like, do you guys like it? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go try and talk to them. He can't get to them. They literally just got stuck. What the heck? I wonder if I can go here and like talk to them outside. No, I can't. They are literally stuck. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to reset them. Oh my god, imagine they like died here. Okay, I reset them. Now they're on the floor. <laughs> I didn't even ask them about it. I did good. I didn't even ask them about it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. That was really weird. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, well... Apparently Florence did a good job too. And um, Mark gained reputation and simoleons. My God. Okay, you know, I think I'm just gonna have them come in here, hang out. I, like, I need them to come and sit here and chat about like their day. Like poor Florence is feeling so tense, probably caring so much about her career, trying to get ahead. And Mark just does the bare minimum, does the less than the bare minimum and is, you know, getting off just fine. I cannot with this. I can't. This pack is hilarious. Yeah, tell a funny story. You guys need to talk about what just happened. They can have dinner together. Mark is literally gonna explain. Mark is like explaining what the heck just happened today. Florence is gonna be like, uh. Imagine Florence came home and like got bit by a uh, Kayla Vitor. That would be some drama. Okay, I'm gonna get them to go to sleep um, and I'm going to renovate this house. So yeah, we're gonna do Dark Academia meets Cosmo Lux because I feel like Mark was digging that vibe. He had that moonlit saying that he enjoyed the decor. So let's run up. I'm gonna delete everything. My budget should be a little bit higher now. I have $5,000 right now and I stole some stuff. Okay, and I have all this stuff in my inventory for some reason. Oh my God. Okay, that is also broken. Like, I feel like that always happens whenever I go to a gig. For some reason, my sims become thieves. Okay, so I just sold everything and I had some stuff from the pancakes house in my inventory. So I sold that. I'm going to go ahead and start this reno. Oh my God, look how dirty the floors are. I just did this like black floor. Look how dirty it is. Okay, Dark Academia meets Cosmo Lux. This is gonna be kind of hard. Three hours later. This aesthetic is so hard to pull off. This so far is my kitchen here. I keep like deleting and adding things. I don't know, it's hard, but I'm trying. I feel like it's gonna look cool in the end. It's definitely gonna be a very different style. And we'll see when we go into live mode if they have that little thing that says they like the decor again, I'm hoping. Okay, so I <laughs> need to show you what the heck happened here. I don't think this is done. I think I'm definitely gonna be adding, but I'm out of money and I've been trying desperately to use it wisely. But this is my attempt at a Cosmo Lux meets Dark Academia living room. Um, the closet stayed the same. I just kind of changed the colors of it to match more of their aesthetic a little better. Bathroom, again, is nothing special. I was pretty desperate, honestly, with my money by the time I got to the bathroom and for the bedroom. I do want to do a basement at some point. I think it would be really cool to do like a library kind of like in the basement, maybe office or whatever. But now we've got a double bed and Mark is gonna have to have the single bed over here. Uh, but that's what we got. And I had to sell their computer, which they're both gonna be probably pretty mad about. Unless 
I can like maybe sell the fridge and get like a cheaper fridge. Okay, I can get the computer back, our crappy computer. I replaced the fridge with that one over there. Okay, there we go. That is gonna be our house renovation for now. We're not done yet, but uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here. So that is what I got for you guys for this episode. We renovated the pancakes house. We gave them a little bit of a makeover and we renovated the house as well. So let me know how you guys are liking this Let's Play. Let me know what you wanna see in this Let's Play down below. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.